Maya is better than Blender, at least that's what most of my colleagues said to me. And it's really difficult to argue with them since Maya is considered the industry standard. But is this actually true that it's better than the other 3D softwares? Or does it even worth its ridiculous price? Especially when we have an alternative such as Blender which is completely free. Well, there's only one way to find out. I will use Maya for the next 3 days with no previous knowledge at all. And try to learn this very intimidating looking piece of software in order to test what I I've learned at the end, I'll take a model I made in Blender and recreate it using Maya. I was normally very positive about this whole Maya experience, but even before I started, I've encountered a huge problem already. Um, I don't have $300. Well, that's why free trials exist, so we creators can farm the software with zero cost. You want my email address? Do I have to? Yes, I had to. So now they can spam my email with useless campaigns. I don't have an account. Where's my app? Seriously? You're gonna make me do this again? Please let me install it already. Guys, I think we're in. I hope I can do this without crashing my PC. I have no clue what these are. Arnold Renderer. Bifrost. Data privacy. Really? Oh my god. No. I looked up zero tutorials on the first day, which no surprise turned out to be a huge mistake. This is my first ever project and is this the interface that's greeting me? Oh boy, isn't that great. I'm already feeling overwhelmed. I don't even know how to turn. Alt middle mouse button is making us move like this. Alt right button is zooming in or out. Alt left click is making us spin. Okay, this is gonna take some time to get used to. How am I gonna add something? new. It's shift right click. I found it. We have a cube. The default cube would be so proud of me. I brute forced the shortcuts I know from Blender for a while, but none of them were working and all I got at the end was this random panel. What is this? Attribute size. I think first of all I need to learn how to move stuff. Move tool. Okay. W. Ooh, we're moving. Rotate stuff. It's E. We can scale stuff with R. Okay, okay. We're doing good progress so far. Arnold. What what is Arnold? Oh, it's light. It is light indeed. But instead of calling it simply light, Maya decided to name them Arnold for some reason. Look, I have no problem with people named Arnold. But still, why? Let's look for a rendered view to test the lights. I mean, Arnold. Go away. I think this is rendered view. How can I change the properties of this light? Why is there no color view? Why are you like this? Do I have to adjust these values manually? I don't know, that doesn't look very practical. I think Maya saw my frustration and took it personally because it's not letting me use any of the modifiers. And on top of that, it's insulting me by throwing a huge red error onto my face. Great, it's my first day and Maya already hates me. Let's get a simple cue. Base selection F11. Isn't that too far away? Yes, too far away from my left hand. So every time I have to change between the vertex, edge and face mode, I have to lift my right hand from the mouse in order to press the keys, which is super annoying and wasting so much of my time. I'm looking for the insert tool for a while and I still couldn't figure out where it is. Alright, I'll swallow my pride and ask to chat GPT. Using an extrude tool, best for adding depth or extending geometry. The conclusion is, there is no traditional insert tool in Maya. In Black you have two separate keys for insert and extrude, but seems like Maya decided to combine them into a single key. Therefore, you have to first extrude the face and then scale it down to create an insert effect. And to be honest, I don't know if I like that or not. I think I will give up for now and look up a tutorial. That was the best decision I've ever made so far. But when I opened YouTube to look up for tutorials, I couldn't believe my own eyes. The amount of tutorials were so underwhelming. They were either too old or not beginner friendly at all. As a Blender user, I'm not used to have limited resources, but at the end of the day, I found a beginner tutorial that I can enjoy. Shout out to the Game Dev Academy. His jokes made this overwhelming software so much more enjoyable for me. If you're interested in learning Maya, I highly recommend his isometric room tutorial. By the way, I'm still watching the tutorial and I just want to say that I'm using this exact same mouse. <laughs> okay, I duplicated it and press shift D again. Oh yes, it's repeating the action. Pretty useful actually. Boop, boop, boop. 
boop, boop, boop. Let's extrude the walls, give it more shape by scaling the top and bottom part. But you know what? Now it looks like a dungeon instead of a cozy room. Luckily, I just happen to know how to fix that. I I think that works. Now I can just press delete. And we have a window. You know what? I'm sick and tired of being called a stupid cat. That's why I will make a bookshelf to trick people to think that I'm actually smart. Even though I'm not. Now I need to learn how to combine these meshes. Because they're all separate right now. Mesh. Combine. Ooh, yes. That was easy. I've made a desk that looks come straight out of the Roblox marketplace. I hope this desk can support the weight of my big thick and heavy gaming PC. I don't want to break my desk after all, you know how gaming PCs are so heavy nowadays. Don't smirk at me, I know that you're dirty minded. My next obstacle is a painting and a monitor and a rock. Don't worry, I won't put a fairy picture on this wall painting. Also, would you look at that beauty, it can play super high quality 144p videos. And for the rock, I think I can just put this rectangle on the floor and call it a day. I trust that none of you will judge me for that. I'm adding a another rectangle on top of the desk as the keyboard. Come on, be honest. It looks like a keyboard as long as you look at it like this. Aside from that, let me give you a little secret about me. I'm shrimping on my chair all day like this, and as a result of that, I have back pain. Wow, what a surprise. So that gave me the reason to add this very ergonomical chair to fix my poor posture. Then I had a quick mental breakdown because of the lack of coffee. I'm gonna go insane, I'm gonna go insane. <sighs> So I quickly made this mug and pour myself a fresh cup of coffee. But it isn't so fun when everything is grey, just like my name, right? So let's make this room colorful and get rid of this 50 shades of grey. In Blender we have shader editor for that. But you know Maya, they love giving fancy names to their simple tools like Arnold or in this case, Hypershade. I think I need to press this interesting ball to open Hypershade window. I can't drag it with the left mouse button. I need to do it with the middle one. Wow, that's weird. Yoink. So we're going into Arnold, Light, Sky Dome. Oh yeah, it's complete darkness now. Why is my area light is not visible? Okay, it's working right now. But the light source is still too weak. No worries, that's an easy fix. I just have to crank up the light. <laughs> finally awake. This is how the room turned out. Not bad for my first ever Maya model, right? That room was just a warm up. Now it's time for the real challenge. You know Grey, he's my mascot kitty cat. In my first Blender video, I modeled him as the final challenge. Now I'll go get the same reference I used in Blender and model him in Maya this time. Okay, I got sidetracked a bit. There it is. Here's the reference I'm gonna use from WordPress. <laughs> but when I opened Maya again, I got slapped on the face with this. I'm already digging into my 30 day trial. I'm not gonna buy it. It is expensive as hell. So, I don't know how to import references. Maybe we can just do this. What is this? Can I just, you know, take this in? Oh, here we go again. Let's just ask the chat GPT. Go to the view from the viewport menu. Image plane. Oh my god, what is this? There are even more menus. Import movie. I can import a movie? Like an entire movie? View. Image plane. Import image. Going front. Yoink site. Can I flip this? Select the image plane, open the attribute editor, flip the image using placement settings. I did it somehow. The first step done. And now there is the actual challenging step, which is the modeling the whole thing. Since this is a complex model, unlike the previous one, I started by making a block out. So basically, I traced down the side reference with a flat plane to create the base shape. How can I use the fill tool in my shift right click? Fill hole, shift right click, merge vertices, merge vertices at center. That works. I was happy filling all the holes and focused doing my model. But all of a sudden, this happened. What is happening? Why are you showing me this right now? 
Okay, you don't have to remind me that I'm working on something, Jesus. After I got harassed by Maya for the second time, a sudden realization hit me, and it was devastating. That's uh, not merged at all. Please just bridge, just bridge. Why, why, why are you doing this to me? It's just merging, merging. Yes, I can't bridge. Thank goodness, I can't bridge. I finally merged. I really have to take a break for my own mental health. But after getting some fresh air, I figured out the problem out and filled the rest of the holes. Now I have to figure out how to mirror this mesh to the other side. I think I've seen a mirror around here. Yes, it's working. Oh, it is not real time. It's just mirroring. You heard that right. In Maya, modifiers are destructive. They are being applied to the mesh the second you add them. So you better think twice before adding them. It's difficult to see the actual mesh from the front view. I wonder how can I make this reference transparent. Find the alpha game. Okie dokie. Oh, there is you. This like looks way too cubic for my liking. I better add some curves. Because it's reminding me of the Minecraft movie CGI's. Yikes. I don't really like the look of this Grand Canyon that Grey has right now. I should better start filling it up for my own good. No, it crashed while I was adding a bevel. I hope that Maya saved my progress or things will get very ugly. Please be safe. Please be safe. Oh no. I think I lost like 10 minutes of progress. Therefore, it's not such a big deal. Give me a second and I'll fix it right away. I wonder how can I add a subdivision surface in Maya. I like low poly art, but he looks way too much like a PS1 character. Mesh smooth. Okay, I can give that a try. Mesh and smooth. Yeah, it works. Oh no, what are these? What I can do is take this, take this, merge it center. Oh yes, that works. I will just add a ball and reshape it a little bit. This nozzle will help me to sniff like there's no tomorrow. And these ears are here to let you hear this bell. I hope it can remind you that you can support my content for free with just two simple clicks. This paintbrush looking tail will be the last part of the model. Then it's finally time for my favorite part, the details. I will just tweak everything a bit and add a subdivision surface modifier to make the mesh smooth. Smoother. While making the eyes, I get another error. Isn't that great? Let's ignore that for now and combine the mesh. Mesh combine. This is a full mesh now. Oh my gosh, I hate this. I hate this so much. How did I even do this? 3D police should give my a restraining order. It's harassing me every time I open it. Every time I open it, please leave me alone. I totally forgot how to enter the material place. You know my solution at this point. Windows, rendering editors, hypershade. Yes, I found it totally. I, I did it by myself. <sighs> Let's add some materials. Yeah, I don't even want to know what is happening. Don't worry about the picture at the background. I'm just picking colors from it. Normally, it's supposed to be a flat image, but somehow I managed to add it to the 3D space. As you can see, while I was picking the colors and adding the materials, I was jumping back and forth between the main scene and the hypershade editor. Since these tabs are open in the same software, they count as one app at the taskbar. That's why it was incredibly difficult to find the hypershade window. But the thing is, it's there just looking at me like a true gremlin for the whole time. Did you still can't spot it? I can't blame you. It's the tiny little window at the left down corner. I think Maya likes punishing me so much because only 10 minutes later, this happened. I Turn on snapping in Maya. Yeah, my snapping button got stuck. I restarted Maya and even changed the shortcut key of snapping. But no, nothing worked. I was lucky that it happened when the 95% of the model was completed. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to watch this video and there would be a huge hole in my monitor. I wasn't normally going to add that, but you know me. I couldn't live without the iconic cat mouth. Finally, let's make a simple platform for him to stand down. You can hear my happiness when I was adjusting the lighting. Finally done with this I can finally rest and since now renders are done I can finally do this goodbye goodbye okay that's all from me it was horrible thank you I'm never gonna use my ever again I apologize for finishing my first my experience like this realistically it was not possible for me to learn my in just three days that was the reason why I got so frustrated it's a huge software after all and I probably didn't even scratch the surface of it yet just giving you a warning the next part is gonna be highly subjective now I can finally understand why people are calling Maya the industry standard it has direct integrations with software such as 
Unity, Unreal Engine and Substance Software. If I were still making games, that would be a huge game changer for me. And I'm sure big studios are saving even more time thanks to these features. Either way, it's up to you to choose your software. Just make sure to choose the one that complements your needs. Like, if you're dreaming of working in one of those big game companies, I think you should totally give a chance to Maya. But if that's not the case, you don't have to pay $300 a month to learn 3D art. Blender is amazing for people who want to dip their toes into the world of 3D modeling. You can do all sorts of things for free and create your personal projects. Blender is complementing my needs perfectly fine. My humble advice is don't overthink about which software to choose and just start creating. Everything has a learning curve. Blender was not easy to learn for me and that applies to all 3D softwares. But I started creating regardless of how difficult it was. So if you want to see me suffer, you can click on this video to watch me learning Blender in just 100 hours.